Wow, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the Believe It Show. I am filming a helicopter out on the helicopter pad here in downtown Jacksonville at the Baptist Medical Center. I'm going to pan around so that you don't miss this. It is exciting to watch. He's a trauma copter getting ready to take off. And thank you for tuning in to the Believe It Show. It is Tuesday, April 23rd, 2019, and a beautiful day in downtown Jacksonville. In the background, you can see a building that's kind of shiny. That's the Wachovia building. That is where I used to work at. I worked on the 21st floor. I had my own office overlooking the St. John's River. What great memories I have working for that company. I was in the mortgage business. And that was in here it goes, taking off. Nice. That is a beautiful shot. He's getting, he's lifting off now. Wow. That is quite a sight. Pretty exciting. I wish I could fly a helicopter. And there he goes. Wow, that is outstanding. Where this is a show where believe it. If I can get through this day with a smile on my face and true personal independence in my sight, believe it. So can you. Again, it is April 23rd, a Tuesday in 2019, from downtown Jacksonville at the Baptist Medical Center. And I am looking at you laying in that hospital bed. Let me ask you, how are you doing? How are you feeling? What's really going on inside the head of yours? Are you angry? Are you frustrated? Let me ask you, are you hungry? You are. Well, they got you on that feeding tube and a bag of food, but you're going to get off that soon. You have to pass the test. It's performed by the uh, speech therapist. She's going to have you, or he's going to have you drink out of a cup to see if you choke. And then they're going to have you chew on a, a graham cracker, and they'll give you an x-ray to find out if it went down the right pipe. You know, because when you have a stroke, your body is shocked. And it has to learn a lot of things over, like how to walk, how to talk, and how to swallow. So your throat muscles are very weak right now. You could choke. That's why you're on that food bag right now. But once you graduate and get to the point where you can eat, they'll give you pureed foods for a while, and then you'll graduate to what they call mechanical soft foods, which is... One step above pureed, a lot of hamburgers and pressed turkey, mashed potatoes, and you can have vegetables then, and they're very tender. So, and and the whole time you're also drinking um, liquids that are thickened a little bit so that you don't choke on that. So. Be ready to enjoy foods that aren't regular, but it'll be a lot better than eating the foods that you are now. I'm going to cut this show short because we watched that helicopter take off, but I want to congratulate you on getting to the next level to where you're eating again. And uh, next time I talk to you, you should be enjoying some great hospital food. Thank you for tuning in to the Believe It Show. 
I care about each and every one of you out there. If I can reach just one person and make a difference in their life, then believe it. I am a success. And if you want to reach out to me, you can at Bill, leave it, L-E-A-V-I-T-T, at gmail.com. That's Bill, leave it, 1962, at gmail.com. Thank you again for tuning in to the Believe It Show. I'll see you tomorrow where Believe It, if I can get through this day with a smile on my face and true personal independence in my sights, then Believe It. So can you. You have a great day, folks. Thank you for tuning in.